So fissure projections are just a different way of showing 3D structures. So this is a correct way of showing a fissure projection, and this would be wrong, because the top and the bottom groups have to be attached to carbon. For example, here it's attached to a carbon, and here it's attached to a carbon. Here, see how it's a bromine? That's actually wrong. Um, that's just like a rule of fissure projections, that it has to be carbons at the top and the bottom. So this would be correct, and this would be incorrect. Now the other thing is, um, this has to represent a 3D model, right? So the horizontal lines mean that they're wedges, and a wedge means that it's coming out of the page. And the vertical lines are dashes, and dashes go into the page. So for example, another example, and see, it doesn't have to be CH3 at the top or the bottom. It can be anything except that it has to be attached to a carbon. So for here, right, horizontal lines, right, so horizontal lines represent wedges, right? So they represent wedges. And wedges in organic chemistry mean that it's coming out of the page. So both of these are coming out of the page. The OH is coming out of the page, and the H is coming out of the page. Now vertical lines represent dashes. So notice how this one and this one, they're, they're dashes. So dashes in organic chemistry mean that it's going into the page. So it's going away from you. And so that's what, um, that's what Fisher projections represent. They represent 3D structures. And so instead of drawing all of this with wedges and dashes, you can just draw this structure, which, so it's, it's pretty much like a shortcut way of um, a drawing a 3D structure, but still get your point across. So that's pretty much it for Fisher projections. Um, that's the overall concept, and I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.